Hey guys, what is up, Mage here? Do another World of Tanks 360 review. Hey guys, here we are at Tier 10 with the Leopard 1 Medium Tank. This is uh, the other German Tier 10 Medium Tank. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Leopard 1 uh, is, uh, overall package. It comes with a 830 horsepower engine. You will get a 105 millimeter L7, and it's in the A3 variation. You will have a rate of fire of 6.67 rounds a minute, 268 pen, 390 average damage, 1.89 aim time, and 0.30 accuracy. Track traverse will be 54. Your turret armor will be 52 millimeters of armor from the front, 60 in the side and rear. Traverse speed will be 36, and your view range will be 410 meters. Um, overall, uh, in comparison to this tank, I, I would look. I would explain this tank by saying that it is. Uh, it does everything the Leopard Prototype A does, but better. Um, and the main drawbacks of the Leopard Prototype was its slow rate of fire, which was five rounds a minute, and its uh, horrible gun depression, and its dispersion on the move. Its aim time on the Leopard Prototype was actually average when you compared it to the other Tier 9 medium tanks. And it its main problem, that dispersion on the move, that reticle, that target reticle just bloomed like crazy. And that's what made me complain about it an awful lot. And I didn't realize it. I thought it was the aim time. It was actually the dispersion, uh, just from moving the tank a little bit. Well, this tank here, the Leopard 1, has great dispersion, so that target reticle does not, you know, bloom out to your entire screen like, the, like it does with the Prototype A. This thing uh, is excellent on the move. The aim time is unreal. I would go as far as to say this is the best possible gun you could have on a uh, medium tank at tier 10 or any tier for that matter this is a um, a laser beam accurate gun the aim time is incredible snapshots on the move shots uh, are very easy to make with this tank uh, as usual uh, when you compare the, uh, when you look at the leopard prototype, you are going to be scouting, sniping, and then running like hell if things get too hot. However, unlike the leopard prototype, this tank does have a good rate of fire. It is better than the FV4202 and the E50M. Uh, it is slightly slower than the M48 Patton, but not by much. And really, when you think about it, this tank makes up for it by having a more accurate and a faster aiming L7 than the M48. So there's that. Um, so it's a reasonable trade-off. Um, but like the Leopard prototype, you got to know when to run. And even though this tank does have a higher rate of fire, don't try to duke it out. Don't try to brawl with people. Be smart in this tank. That is uh, something I learned very quickly in this tank. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I tried to fight it out with people, but you know, I you got to have enough common sense to run in this tank when you're being pushed, and you got to rely on your teammates still. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, switch to some gameplay, guys. Okay, guys, here we are on Mountain Pass, Standard Battle, Snow Variation. Uh, let's go ahead and get equipment out of the way. Uh, I run coated optics and rammer. You guys know that. That's standard across all my medium tanks. Uh, I do run vents as the third equipment option. Uh, you certainly could run uh, vert stab as a alternative. I don't begrudge anybody that decides they want to run a vert stab and have the better aim time and deal with the, any dispersion on the move. Uh, but I run the vents to give me that all-round boost to view range, camo rating, a little bit of everything. It's like having another Brothers in Arms kind of boost to your uh, crew, but that's what I prefer to run, just personal preference, but there's nothing wrong with running a vert stab, but for me at least, I didn't feel like I need to. I mean, this gun handles just incredible. Handles like a dream. All right, let's run up here, and I'm going to do some early scouting. Um, you play this tank very similar to the Leopard Prototype. Difference is, you actually got gun depression. The gun handles like a dream, uh, so it's outstanding. I would recommend still being careful and smart. Nice shot. The IS-7. Back off, don't want to get hit. Alright, potato team. We must hit tar- Yes! Yes! Fuck you, Death Star! Fuck you! Fuck you, Death Star! Alright, let's see if I can get more spots. I doubt I got, I'm gonna get any more. I might get some of the stragglers. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go whip some ass. I'm gonna back up. Okay, do we 
have? Alright, we got people going to the bridge. That's all that matters. And we do not have many holding that straight away, so we gotta push through here quickly. Alright, I'm gonna run up through here and spot and snipe with this E75 as a nice, a nice little shield. You scout, you snipe, and you run like hell. That is the normal motto for the Leopard Prototype. It is the same here for the Leopard 1. Even though you have a much higher rate of fire, which is better than the FB4202 and the E50M, that doesn't mean go balls out and get um, crazy and try to brawl with people. This tank still has no armor. You still want to carry a second repair kit, as I do, as I did with the Leopard uh, Proto. Three tried hitting me. Nice little clutch shot there. You see the aim time here on the L7. It is incredibly quick. Very snappy. Snapshots are outstanding. All right, let's push up here. All right, IS4 and Yak Panther 2. I'm kind of depending on you guys. And a T30. All right, hopefully those guys on the straightaway are going to be held up. Two M103s. We got to push hard. Yeah, I knew that 183 was going to show up. Okay, you two, I wish you guys would leave me some room here to help. Because I really want to help you guys. Alright, good, the 183 is out. Be careful of the faggots with Hush, they will hit you. Because they're faggots using Hush. Alright, we're making reasonable time here. I knew you were going to pop out for that shot, you dirty scumbag. Alright, we're making reasonable time. Good to move here, team. Um, you may want to practice a lot better than what I did there. Uh, I uh, <laughs> I should have been hiding behind some of my teammates. That's usually what you want to do in this tank. Right, nobody's sitting on the straightaway. But you would want to pop out, use some of your more well-armored uh, teammates to, you know, as cover and also to hide behind. I've lost spot hiding behind an M103 before. Okay, there's an ISA. He's gonna aim at me because he's a scumbag. Nope. And no, that I did not hit him for 600. 92 damage, it was because somebody hit him at the same time as me, so do not assume I have a Jesus gun. Uh, come on, it. teammate, I know you got a big tank, but don't shove me, please, that's not cool. I can't hit him. Oh, well. Alright, and, the, and these guys are clueless that we only have two tank destroyers up on that straightaway. The ice road. What is that? T95? Yep, I can't, can't really hit him. Let me try to hit the hatch, maybe. Show off the... Nope. I wasn't going to try to show off the accuracy of the gun. I think I'm going to go pick on that 103 on the ice road. You see here with this tank, it is very much similar to the Leopard Prototype. It takes everything the Leopard Prototype does and just makes it even better. It has the same terrain resistance as the M48 Patton. Um, as I was talking about, about the with the reload speed, the Patton does fire faster than this thing with a 105, uh, but it's not that much quicker that I would sit there and say, oh wow, you know, the Patton is just straight up, you know, better uh, handling its gun. I don't want you to land on me. I wouldn't be surprised if the dickhead tries. Okay, he just got tracked. That's good, man. I'm gonna try to hit him, though. Side turret. Great gun handle. I mean, just look at how quickly that that entire target reticle closes. I mean, that is incredible. All right, let's go ahead and push up here. Hopefully, we can catch the op four. I mean, this tank just gets up and goes, and, and the terrain resistance is exactly the same as the Patton. Um, this is a uh, okay. It looks like we got them all around the corner here and we'll find out. Oh, T-32. Hello, sir. Good stuff, teammate. 
this is a good alternative to the uh, uh, for the bat chat. I, as I have, I've done some reading and I've been doing a little bit of reading in Clan Wars, and this is one of those tanks. Is it um, a Clan Wars staple? Uh, no, it uh, for the most part, you know, the bat chat sees a lot more use than this tank. But this is, from my understanding, it's looked at as a reasonable alternative to the bat chat. Uh, its main strength, of course, is its gun depression over the bat chat. It does have excellent gun handling. So that is the uh, what sets this tank apart from the bat chat. It, uh, in my experience, uh, running alongside teammates that have bat chats, uh, they seem to beat this tank out in straightaways. You know, pure you know drag races, but in turning kind of situations like getting around corners on maps. Uh, that's where this tank just really blows the bat chat out of the water, I feel. Bat chat seems to lose a lot in the turning department. Now, of course, that is based off of, uh, you know, my teammates. Uh, then again, you know, I, I shouldn't really be making too many comparisons because I don't have the bat chat, and it's kind of unfair to that tank for me to make any kind of comparisons, but these are general overall, you know, opinions I have. Nice on the move shot, but, you know, point-blank range. Ha, 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 ha. Of course, I'm going to hit him. Let's see the reload speed here. I mean, that that is pretty darn good for a 105 medium. Teammates got him. Good fucking shit team. You usually don't get enough decent teams in tier 10. Um, overall opinion of this tank? Excellent. Excellent, guys. It is... Would I, would I rate it in the same way as the, uh... Um as the T-62 or the E-50M. Well, this is a good tank, and it is competitive with those uh, two tanks in, in particular. However, I put an asterisk by it. This is a tank that demands a high skill ceiling out of the person that is using it, uh, mostly because of the lack of armor. It is exactly the same as the Leopard prototype. Uh, I will check in. Hopefully, I will explain that in the garage overview of the tank. But... Uh, it is exactly the same as the Leopard prototype, so you're going to take hits. People will pass up shots at a T-62 or an E-50M just to shoot at you because you have no armor. It's easy to pick on this tank. And, of course, 183s and Artie will shoot at you because, hey, they want to try to see if they can one-shot you and because they're scumbag douches. So you have to expect that kind of stuff. Um, but you have to be smart in this tank. You cannot pop out knowing there's a fucking Death Star gun pointing in your direction. you got to be that guy that says, you know what, I'm going to let the heavy tank pop out and take the hit because I don't want to get one-shotted by a douche with Hesh. Um, so that's what you have to remember with this tank. If you are going up the E-50M or the T-62 line or you already have those tanks and... Uh, you know, you're an average or even a below average player that's still learning the game and you're trying to get better. Um, I would not suggest going up and trying to race and get the Leopard 1. Continue to learn the game at Tier 10. Continue to get better. Um, once you get better, this tank becomes incredibly good. Um, and I still make stupid decisions, as you guys seen. I would pop out and take a hit like a bozo. But even a good player, you know, if you try, if you make a mistake in this tank, you are punished for it. So, you have to remember that. This tank requires a high skill ceiling. You gotta be smart when you pop out. You gotta be smart when you scout. And you gotta have enough common sense of when to run away. Alright guys, I will catch you guys later. Um, I'll probably take a maybe a two or three week break before I go after a uh, another tank line. I am more than likely gonna go up the Soviet heavy line. Alright guys, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.